In Return of the Jedi, the overconfidence of Emperor Palpatine and the resiliency of Luke Skywalker eventually brought down the entire Galactic Empire, and as a result of Darth Vader's return to the light, we saw the end of the Sith and with that, the return of the Jedi. The aftermath of what happened after this event was not seen in Episode 6. Matter of fact, the last thing we saw during the end was a celebration in which the remnants of what was left of the Empire did not take part of. Instead, they elected to create mass propaganda and for a while, they treated the death of Palpatine and Vader as mere rumors and something that was fabricated by the Rebellion. What is even more strange is that in Legends, it is said that Cronal, the dark side prophet, also known as Black Hole, was so manipulative that he created two hollow thrillers depicting the events of Luke Skywalker's life. Just to quickly explain what hollow thrillers are, they are basically equivalent to what we call films or movies. To be even more specific, hollow thrillers belonged in the same genre as real life action thrillers movies are today. These two hollow thrillers of Luke went on to be named Luke Skywalker and the Dragons of Tatooine and Luke Skywalker and the Jedi's Revenge. It was Han Solo who purchased these copies in order to pass the time watching while Leia Organa was engaged in negotiations. Han Solo viewed both hollow thrillers as amusing but not harmful to Luke's reputation, thinking that nobody would take them seriously. Luke on the other hand was furious and was seen to be visibly frustrated with the historical inaccuracies that the hollow thrillers showed especially with Luke Skywalker and the Jedi's Revenge. In this film, it was shown how it was Luke Skywalker who actually killed Darth Vader in order to avenge the death of Emperor Palpatine. This was a strategic plot made purposefully by Cronall in order to create division amongst the Rebellion, showing with this film that by Luke killing Vader to avenge the death of the Emperor, then indeed Luke Skywalker was the next legitimate heir to the Empire. Luke was so disgusted by these holographic showings that he actually described these fictional events as being sick in nature. But, same as many other propaganda films, the existence of these two films went on to fade throughout history and it just shows that Han Solo's calming nature always prevails. Alright you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos and if you like this one, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and don't forget, may the force be with you always.